Bible has been giving us or the word of God has been giving us to know what to think about who God is. Number two, about the devil, about the world, and about yourself. God has spoken about himself so that it can govern the way you think about him. Because as a man thinks, so is he. You can never be different from what you are thinking now. What you think about this year is what you will become. There is no miracle that defies the law of your thinking pattern. Nothing. Every miracle that will happen to you will consult the way you think before it happens. There are some of us thinking, that, oh, it, what will happen should, will happen. It doesn't work. Everything that will ever manifest, your inner man's eye must see. And you begin to meditate on it. That is why God told Joshua that meditate on this thing day and night. Then you will have a good success and you will prosper. It is by meditation that the things that you are thinking about becomes flesh and manifestations in your life. Listen, you are in the highway of disaster if your mind is not good. That is why the Bible says Jesus came and started saying repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. The Greek meaning of repent means change your mind. Because there is a kingdom coming. Its influence cannot manifest in your life until you are thinking alongside the way it operates. Some of us think that the kingdom will come and whatever I am, the kingdom will begin to have influence on me. It doesn't work. Jesus said change your mind to meet the oppression of the kingdom. It will be an imbalanced equation. If the kingdom comes and you are thinking other things, you should have a way to marry the kingdom and the way you think. So God has carefully inscripted his Bible, his word, so that if it comes to him, we know who he is. He's a God of justice. What you do in secret and in public, he will judge you. He has written it so that you will find a way to think around it. And then it will affect your action. That is who he is. He showed us the greatest love is there. He has told you something about the devil. Anything that you think differently from what God has told you is what will bring consequences that is not in alignment with God's will for your life. So many of us are suffering things that we go to God. God deliver me. And God said, I've already delivered you. How did you deliver me? I gave you the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That is how it works. And many of us, it will take us a long time to see a change in our physical life because we are not connecting to what must transform our lives. That is our mindset. Jesus said that ye do a because you do not know the scriptures. So you are making mistakes that is affecting your destiny because you don't know the scriptures. You know me, I lead you in prayers against demonic forces and all that. But there is a place for demonic forces. God has spoken about it. There is a place where your own self can bring you challenges. God has spoken about it. There is a place where the world is fashioned, the way it operates, can bring you challenges. God has said about it. Love not the world. He has said it. He said the world and its last passed away. He has said it. He has told you things that you must know. So that you govern your mindset. And your mind also governs your actions. When you ask God right now, he will tell you that the devil is judged. It's as simple as that. So all that the devil is doing now is to deceive you. To fall into distraction that he wants from you. He is already judged. Power is taken away from him. The keys of hell and death is no more in his hands. A believer must know. If you don't know it, you fall prey to the workings of Satan. It's as simple as that. This Christian experience and our victories is an open secret. It's there. Everybody knows. But you have not decided to dig into it and to have your own private understanding into what God has said. That is why you may be the same for a long time. Nobody can help you. We will pour oil on you. We will lay hands on you. We will, you will buy five keys to that, six keys to that. But there are secrets that has been openly given from God's word. And the first of it is our mindset. Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 23. Guard your life above everything you are guarding. I believe that you have plans to preserve your car, preserve your house, 
preserve your family preserve your your husband preserve your wife preserve your children preserve your education preserve that even your ministry preserve it but the bible says that above everything you seek to preserve guard your heart protect it know the inflows and the outflows of your heart be specific of what is imprinted in your heart. Be specific of what you receive into your heart and out of your heart. He said, for it determines the course of your life. Witches don't determine the course of your life. It is your heart. But what they do is that they do things to affect your heart. Then your heart determines the course. So they know how to corrupt your heart they know how to corrupt your thinking pattern that is why the devil is not trying to destroy your life no he's trying to deform the world and the world deforms your thinking pattern and your thinking pattern determines your action and your action determines your feeling did you watch pornography before coming you are allowing something inside that will soon affect the course of your life what you are reading what you are listening to what you are exposing your eyes your ears and your receptiveness to the bible said very soon it will become the steer of your life whenever i see somebody experiencing consistent growth and blessing i know that the person is getting something right in the mind and you see stagnancy for a long time you know that this person is refusing to change his or her mind. One of the most difficult human beings to lead as a pastor is somebody who has determined not to change his mind because there will be no progress in the person's life. And at the end of the day, it comes to affect that the pastor is not powerful. Why? Because we expect that miracles happen in vacuum. It doesn't. God will always change, trigger something in the way you think. And that thing will trigger an action. And the action begins to trigger one sources after the other. He said that guard this heart. Guard it. For that determines the cause. The cause. So this year will you be blessed? Your heart will determine. The failure you experienced last year, will you experience again? The heart will determine. He says, so you guard them. You protect it. Then he's showing us how to guard this precious heart of ours. Can we continue verse 24? Avoid all perverse what? Avoid it. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Avoid it. Corrupt talk. Avoid it. It has a way of affecting the course of your mind. He said, avoid some of us must get to a point that when what you are hearing will not help you put that radio off there is an agenda of god for us he's saying that avoid it every perverse talk, and stay away from corrupt speech this is how we protect our heart that has the power to direct our course people talk us into distraction the bible says he that was with the foolish will be foolish why? Because the things that you'll be, you see, naturally we have been accustomed to like people who tell us who we are is good. So whatever we are doing, oh, it's good. You don't want to ask who is, who is young, you are young, enjoy life. And when you are smoking, enjoy life. When you are drinking your life into kidney failure, enjoy life. Everything you are telling, enjoy life. That's all you keep on saying. And sometimes our flesh is inclined to say things. Whether they are corrupt things or not, our flesh is inclined to it. And we keep on enjoying. We keep on enjoying until disaster and destruction hits us. He said that avoid anything that is corrupt in speech. Avoid it. Some of you don't know the danger of what wrong words can do. The Bible says that for life and death lies in the power of the tongue. So somebody can speak you into death. You can speak your own self into death. You can speak your own future into poverty. You can speak your own year into failure. Many of us confirmed our failure yesterday. 
by most of the things that we started saying, we confirmed it. You began a new year and you began it by speaking failures. And me yari idea, me bray idea. Ah, diaboni na sasha si eurade mafia se. These are things we do. We don't get it. We don't understand. We keep on saying such things, thinking about those things. The Bible said that anything that is corrupt, withdraw because it has power to affect the course of your life. One time Jesus told them, he said that you'll be judged by every idle word that comes out of your mouth. Do you know why? Because every idle word will affect your life negatively. And God will ask you why your life turned this way. And then he would judge you that it was by a certain word you spoke that was not consistent with my word. From today, may God fill your mouth with the right words. I said, may God fill our mouth with the right words. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen to me. It doesn't matter the situation you are going through. Don't confirm it with your mouth. Let even the weak, the Bible says, say that I am strong. Don't confirm Every word you speak is a signature to your situation. When people are shouting Ghana is hard, don't confirm it. Because you can be in Egypt, but light will be in Goshen. So you don't confirm people's situation. There is a God, though you walk through the value of the shadow of death, there is a God that if you don't fear anything, he will help you. David is in a cave that Saul has almost gotten there to grab him. David said, I will live and not die to declare the wonders of the Lord. There are people who are very strong, but they are talking their lives to death. And there are those who are in hospital bed at intensive care, talking their lives into life. And give them six months. The one walking about will die. The one in intensive room will come out. Life is governed by your words. So Proverbs chapter 6, he says that do not ensnare yourself with your words. Every word you speak is a trap. I better trap myself in prosperity that some of you the only you are just waiting for people to encourage you the prodigal child says the bible says and he said to himself what will you be saying to yourself this year the young boy went through frustration went through difficult times was eating with pigs was in a very deadly situation until the bible said he said to himself something he knows about his father he said it to himself what do you know about God? Say it to yourself. What do you know about his kindness? Say it to yourself. When life becomes challenging and it becomes all dark, what do you know about Jesus? Say it to yourself. When you get to a point and you don't have what to eat, what do you know about Jesus? He said, take no thought of yourself. What you eat or what you drink and what you wear. For your father knows that you need these things. But if you seek first the kingdom, all other things shall be added. When they get to the difficult point in life, say to yourself, let the redeem of the Lord say so. When the going gets tough, confirm God's word over your life. Under no circumstance must you confess your situation. He said that if you lack words and you don't know what to say, give him thanks in all circumstances. So sometimes when the burden becomes too tough and you don't know what to say, the Bible said, give thanks. Give thanks. And the more you give thanks, an energy will rise and suddenly you begin to confess what God has said. Mm. Then you begin to shout, I'll be the head and not the tail. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. I will be the, I will be called healthy by the delight. And I'll be builder. I will be married. You start to make declarations of who you are. 